All right, so I'm at a stage of our days of them. I was the video where I was setting up the bank account. I was sitting at this corner at this stop sign, Career One and Long Avenue. Uh, waiting on this freaking line of traffic that comes this way. This coming from out of town, out of the Coochie area in the Dade City. It's a very busy road at times. Oh. So. So I'm on the way to go back to Zephyr Hills to go get her from work. It's 4.45 now and see it's off at 5. So on the way to pick her up and uh, like I said, Trinity's birthday is tomorrow. I'm going to go spend a little bit to get her a couple Barbie dolls and whatnot. Maybe an outfit for her Barbie dolls. I'll go up this window and I'll go up this window and roast myself for a minute. To make sure I, I'm heard correctly and not too much outside ruckus. Huh? Check out that trailer. All the piping and like irrigation type of work. So, that'll be another business thing. This guy probably does irrigation, right? Sprinklers or whatever. So, if he needs a supply of, uh, stuff moved and he doesn't have the space on his trailer for whatever reason or he needs help moving stuff that whatever no. that um I'll have the this and that vehicle and plans of operation no. making money at, I even thought of a couple other um ways to have more activities to offer more so I'll get into that when I can um, I really need to write it down look at that that truck right there with the the other truck on the back of that trailer that gooseneck towing that truck so yeah it's fun day uh, going to talk to my tax lady Miss Pete she's uh, Miss Know-It-All genius um, 90, you know, she's like 70 something years old, I think. But she's done her business for 30, 40 years, and she's done the, um, like I said, uh, uh, the accountant and payroll company. And now she works for, well, she's done the payroll for like 40 years, and she's done Jackson Hewitt, uh, tax return office for 30 years. So she's, uh, she's the brains of the tax and uh, business income situations. So, she's going off. Like I said, her daughter, or her stepdaughter, Shannon, does the, uh, the insurance, business insurance and everything. Uh, so her daughter's going to line me up with what's the best option to have the LLC business insurance under to make payments and everything and um then her daughter um uh, her actual daughter not her daughter in law Shannon but uh her daughter Kim she said uh, does her uh, her payroll company that she does that Miss Pete does she said her daughter helps her on the handy side of doing all the same stuff so, I'll be dealing with them for the personal. And like I said, Miss Pete has done my taxes for, my personal taxes for six years now. And never missed beat and got me an amazing amount of money in each time that I've been able to use now. So, she's the one to handle it. Put it that way. But, um, uh, I want to kill you all the time and I'm going to get riding, but I wanted to say salute and blessing to everybody for removing that process and stepping that grind, getting this and that done. So, I'm at the next step to where I'm bettering the banking account to apply for, oh, 
I just had a uh, message coming from uh, a real estate agent that I touched on YouTube uh, and his office is right back here in town. And he actually owned the house. I used to play baseball for years. I got 15, 20 trophies of uh, me playing baseball back in uh, my teen, early teens. So in about 94, 95, I was on a team called Milton's Funeral, a big, tall, heavy set black guy named Sherman Milton that owned a uh, funeral home called Milton's Funeral. His grandson just messaged me, and I want to buy that funeral home. I think I have some uh, amazing business ideas to own the particular house that he has, that the old man had. Um, that he passed away decades ago and his grandson the real estate agent Sherman Milton the third and my baseball coach is Sherman, Sherman Milton the uh, senior so um, his grandson just messaged me about I requested a, uh, a, uh, a meeting with him um, with me to talk about real estate with him and the fact I'm about to be looking for property to buy through the LLC and all this. And uh, I actually want to talk to him about the, I'll offer my service for cleaning properties for his real estate agency. Like he actually has another business called Two Maids and they do uh, like property, like uh, office cleaning, uh, maid service, whatever. But if I offer a handyman cleaning service, I clean the uh, trash out of people's properties, the renovation of properties, then I can offer that service to a real estate agent and he's well connected. There's actually a, um, in Tampa, there's a um, Tampa's Association a real estate agency that he posted that he got um, on the membership board of being the top-ranking real estate agent. And he's actually posting a, um, a property in uh, which is
Vacation. So I had to drop her off and she is like the sun's not even out. It is seven o'clock. So I got down in Dooley, stand a cab. We took back there in the brakes and pulled. It was a second gen Tottenham Doolet. So, yeah, yeah. Took her to work, so now I run back to the house and um, go pick up Aiden and Trendy. And take them to school. And then eventually go pick her up right, this morning. I think since she opened it, she, I think she's supposed to go off at like one or something like that. But so let me uh I was supposed to edit that video yesterday, I mean, uh, upload the video yesterday I wanted to, but, um, too much other problems yesterday, so, still I need to finish editing it in that video, but, we'll see, it's a little less than everybody. Oh. Alright, we yeah, just passed through it. That pool on the ground that I was talking about. I was leaving yesterday. Uh oh, and that washout. Oh. Barricade damn thing. It's supposed to. Doesn't work to. It washes out bad underneath the bit. But, uh, when we got this old late 1980s oh, Scottsdale in front of us but so I just made it back home got these got these people here we have names you know 
I know I made you. <laughs> but uh, we bought, so I bought it from my mom tummy. Um, we have Miss Trinity, which is Miss Happy Birthday today. She's now seven. She's now seven years old. September twenty second. And this is Aiden. Then the thirteen year old Aiden. I mean. So fun, fun, fun. Taking in the school. Whoa. Like I said, I can't wait to get that truck. To take her Whoa. back forth to work. And I have to do this. Take them to school. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. on me. Alright, so their Wi-Fi is on. So they can survive life for another minute. <clears throat> but, uh, like I said, I need the other truck and But off, so here that way I can have the other truck. That way she could have went to work at five o'clock in the morning, and I uh, I, I dropped her off this morning and seven when I left there because <laughs> I, uh, I finished my late afternoon nap between dropping her off and. When I had to leave to pick up the kids at home, so I, when I dropped her off, 4:35 o'clock in the morning, for her to open that store, I uh, took a nap in there. Now the seats reclined, and she came woke me up inside of the van to leave to go get the kids from the house so because the hardest part is when she goes to work that morning then I got like if I went straight back home uh I would have been waiting for them to even wake up so I've been sitting there twiddling the thumbs and but let me get them going in. Oh, uh, I got a couple of errands to run today. I need to go to Lowe's. I need to go to Lowe's and look at a, uh, a tool. And, uh, oh, no, 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 ain't that rude. 17th and Lock Street entrance. Had to flip the camera around and show one day. But, I said lots to do, lots like to see. Not to bring you. See you in a minute. Alright, so we're about done running around. We are. Got it. I got the couple things I needed, and I just thought by. We're all came there to check something I seen the other day when I came up here for those batteries. And look what I see when I get back out to my van to leave. And while I was in there, I found something so incredible back there. Oh, whoa, worth it. But, uh, yeah, uh, imagine me and that big old thing. That big old blue ram. That's like a jack up, too. Huh? Uh, so. Big old 1500 new ram. When I went in there, I was going to take a picture. There's a dually, uh, four door dually over here on that side. But I guess it's going now. Oh, and guess what else I'm about to buy soon? Some zero turns up here at Roll King. Like all kinds. And it's funny, the brand that they got now is called Badland. I mean, Bad Boy. Oh, 
I don't really care for the orange. <laughs> I prefer uh, other colors. Blue, white, you know, match the joint for advertisement purposes, being color matched. But, so, more things to come buy. One of these zero turns here soon. Strip it down, paint it. Have a custom uh, looking zero turn day. There's that girl that my neighbor, well, not my neighbor, but over there um, where I pick up Aiden's bus uh, the other day there. She was running a uh, weed eater lower, uh, leaf lower thing over when I was doing a video about taking the kids to the park. But I gotta go home and set this new, uh, new tool. Well, two new tools to do solve problems. I got going on so let me get back to you and uh um, we'll show you now when I'm capable of showing you I'll show you see you on a minute and that's the magulation right there we fight with this one for the last hour 12 o'clock or I started at 12 ish right before 12 and now it's just before one, it's like a minute before one, and I just got her knocked out. I fight with her all over the damn playpen to get her to lay down, and finally I got her teddy, and her teddy had to go in that and lay down, he needed help. But usually she don't fight me to lay down and go to sleep, but just now to lay down and take a nap. Like I said, this is all my, uh, uh, daughter uh, Trinity is birthing today. My six-year-old, my two-year-old Destiny here, and usually she lays down, takes a nap, goes to bed. Good for me when I lay down with her. And but oh, we have motivation to oh getting those moments where they want to fight with you. Oh, see you all in a minute. I gotta go get Trinity and Aiden from school now. And then birthday party for Trinity here in a minute. And what I'm sad is uh, Aiden's uh, 13th birthday this past June 6th, uh, June 26th. I didn't get to buy him a gift. So I got a couple extra gifts for him. So I'll have a late birthday party for Aiden to get make up for his last birthday. And then, um, Trinity, she got a couple gifts for her birthday today. So, always motivation, always salute blessings, everybody. Keep on moving forward. That reason right there. Some peace and quiet. And love you. Spreading that word information like I was talking to my buddy Coco the other day. Now I'm up here. That guy right there. About. Cleaning up this little brush here, where that high grass is. He, he's my buddy that I ran into the other day at Walmart, and um, he's from Texas. Well, he's from here. His mom's property, and uh, he moved out to Texas for a few years, and um, he moved back to recently. Now he's here staying at his mom's till he gets another place. Since he's moved back recently. But we're talking about getting all this yard cleaned up and the, my business um, abilities and uh, my work abilities to do work for people. So, get all this property cleaned up. He's got all kinds of stuff around here. So, see y'all in a minute. Alright, so currently... Um, but day after, you know, I'm trying to remember if it's been two days yet or I've been crazy the last couple of days. Yeah, I think it has been two days because yesterday I was doing um, dark cleanup. I was supposed to go over there, that's what I was thinking about. But um, I'm getting her quiet down like the deck. So, look at that. My butthead dog out here. 
burying a freaking hole in the yard. Well, digging a hole in the yard. I got buried in butt in. <laughs> butt head. For the new people. My 100 pound pit bull beers. I didn't name them. A friend of mine did. I, he went to jail. Or kept the dog to not let him get killed by the town or whatever. And nobody else could take care of him when he went to jail. So I got me a new dog. Yay. I've had him for three years now. And the funny dude told me that he was going to get him when he got back out of jail. He gets out of jail in Miami. I haven't heard from him since. Well, you know, he must have tried to mess with me once. But haven't heard from back from him since. Uh, a girlfriend of his actually messaged me back one day and told me he was in jail down there in Fort Lauderdale. But. Little asshole. But like I was talking about, I'm uh, out in the yard today moving stuff around, getting ready for um, hurricane whatever coming. Uh, storm whatever. Thing it's going to be a category four or whatever. But that's what they said about a couple storms ago. This one, Irma. And that came through this part of Florida. But I'm just getting the yard cleaned up anyways. Um, opportunity to get an excuse to do something. But really I want to make the point of this could be a side job opportunity for me that people, hoarders that need to get their yard cleaned up for storms or they need to get their yard tightened down of like sheds and um, carports and stuff like that. They need help getting their um, hurricane preparations done. It's a one business ideal. Then the people that don't have water or don't have enough water to get through the storm or they need water delivered uh, to them. I can use the truck and the trailer to move down the big uh, water containers, barrels. I can drop off barrels of water to people in need. And, um, but, all right, I'm try to delete some old footage. But, um, so here we're outside cleaning. Um, all right, as I was saying, cut, briefly cut me off. <laughs> um, that, uh, after hurricane, hurricane cleanup, you know, I do the hurricane preparation work to help people board up their houses or clean up their yard or knock down trees that can be cut back for, you know, easy, um, uh, tree breaking after a storm. And plus my buddy Leonard, that uh, did the, he was on that zero turn yesterday, the other day. Oh yeah, it would have been today, second day since then. But um like he owns with his dad when he lived in Texas with his dad before his dad passed and um they had a tree service business. So the work that I need to actually cut down and help cut down trees, I can hire him through the LLC of get it moved. That I need to get this yard cleaned up, get the yard moved. Um, I need help from him to cut down a tree this night and help him get work. And then, um, I can also help him do the hauling the, the, the logs away, the tree branches and stuff like that. And then, like, then, like I said, I want to investigate into, like, an escalator and a skid steer and stuff like that to make easy light work of moving a tree, moving a vehicle, moving, if I got to pull a vehicle out of somebody's backyard, I can use a skid steer instead of the dually, or like uh, leveling land, or clearing land, or the side work of cutting fields for like the county, or like uh, farmers, um, any type of field that I can clear and cut down or whatever to make money instead of there being a bazillion opportunities of clearing properties to transporting vehicles to helping people get rid of vehicles to helping people move a shed 
helping people move a camper. I just found a round piece of glass in my, where my dog was just digging. Apparently he dug up this round piece of glass. Hmm. But, um, yeah, anything that or like this good sure I can bring it out to a contractor for a cheap day. His or a skid steer is in the shop or something. And I do hauling for him on the other side. That I haul his um a load of um shingles for a roofing company. But then one day he needs to rent and there's um the concrete dumps not the concrete dumpster but the the drop off dumpsters. Like sharks and dumpster. Uh, there's a, actually an awesome uh, ad I have for three of them for thirty-five thousand dollars. You can get uh, the trailer, three dumpsters, uh, trailer uh, company I've seen on Facebook. But to be able to rent out two of them, I get the three pack. I rent out two of them. And I use one for property cleaning myself. Where I can run out all three, but be able to transport the trailer in the dumpster. So for like hurricane cleanup, I can be able to load three uh, trailers and transport them with the dually or the new truck. Uh, get a good dually that can do it, and then be making money on the multiple scales. I can do this work, I can do that work, I can do this work. I can haul a, a, a busted up driveway, like somebody gets their driveway replaced and they need help removing old concrete. I can bring the trailer in there, put all their broken up concrete in the trailer and then take it and dump it. And I have, I have another use for recycling uh, concrete. I'll break it up, grind it, uh, use it, uh, and um other opportunities but i want to say sleep blessings getting this gotta get this yard cleaned up we got a bag of um got the trash down the road i got this uh bag of uh, bottles to fill up with uh, water to flush toilets this night and water is, uh in case the electric goes out or it's not going to be easy to, especially on uh, all the stores are freaking sold out of bottled water. So, I'll make my own bottled water. I wish I had a, I need a cooler so I can grab some ice in case it does go out and be able to put food and drink on ice. You know, Florida preparations. Like I said, I can't wait to get my own property to have other, uh, operations set up other storage of supplies but I just got a way to uh, a property that somebody is talking about right now I'm going to go uh, conversate with this lady about see if I can rent it with my business ideas and the fact that she owns multiple properties hopefully enough that I can do property cleaning property maintenance and then whatever hole and stuff for her to make her a little bit more happy. Like I said, anything's possible. See you all in a minute. I'll uh, probably upload this tomorrow. I was going to do a video today, but I just got done editing the rest of it. So, so lessons, everybody. So, pretty much about done. I got it. Pretty much most of the yard cleaned up. I'm about to walk the trash down before it does rain. Not very the last thing to do. Now I got the massive yard. Look at Beers. Hmm. He, he moved from the pile over there to laying underneath the trailer. <laughs> but yeah, and that's where I used to lay underneath my where I used to live in the uh, trailer I had over there. I was borrowing from a friend, Albert. But uh, now he's laying underneath my trailer. Huh. So, and I had another truck over there in uh, Tahoe. Yeah, or the parts Tahoe. I, 
acquired in trade. Oh, uh, yeah. Are we sitting here having fun? Um, in the yard cleaned up. Like I said, it's about to. It looks pretty bad, so about to tighten it up and get done. Get uh prepared to be able to jump in the house at a moment need. So just having fun preparing for this weather. I got uh, I was having a problem with the next step idea of um, how to go about the making the payment service for the LLC to uh, collect payment from uh, doing work but um, I talked to my cousin and uh, he told me about Square uh, payment and I mean I knew about PayPal but I didn't know it was linked to her business account and a payment service for business I thought it was more like a online banking Thing that, but I learned a couple more things uh, doing a couple researches um, more looking into instead of uh, what they call the aggregated uh, payment compared to um, marketplace payment to where you hire a company to take care of more of that than applying for uh, they call it like a, a stupid loan thing, a stupid business thing. But uh, I'm going to have to look into that more. But as soon as I can get the payment system set up, I can do the, the business. So that'll be my next step. I really want to make a website for it all. So I need to figure out somebody that can develop a website and do all the domain paperwork and the, the uh, putting the link from the the payment service to the website so you can click now add add to cart all right so lessons I got a little bit more work to do putting this ladder up and those milk crates so just give y'all one more glance of ooh how bad it is about to be. So it is currently 7.36. Just got done. Talking about cleaning up and uh, taking that load of trash down in the dumpster. So all cleaned up there. Those milk crates are cleaned up. Those, that ladder is moved. And just about to come down with that wet wet. So Good timing, good timing. Salute and blessings. Keep on moving, keep on grinding. We're getting it done.